Hey guys, welcome back to another tour from Trick Down Vans. Today we're going to be touring Alex and Forrest's awesome 2019 2500 159 wheelbase Ram Pro Master. This thing is absolutely tricked out on the outside. It has tons of off-road upgrades. Really cool paint job as you guys can already kind of see. And yeah, let's jump into you guys. Who are you? Why did you get into van life? Cool, I'm Forrest. This is my wife, Alex. Hi. Hi. It's Joey. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> And, uh, dogs. Yeah, we're uh, we're loving our van. We've been living full time in this thing for four months now. The build took about seven months, but we had a massive delay in the middle with uh, quarantine and COVID hit. It's kind of a lot, a lot of craziness got into this thing. But yeah, yeah, we've been renting a place for like 12 years, and uh, we totally. I fell in love with van life. I kind of talked her into it slowly. <laughs> when I first mentioned we should live in a van, she's like, I'm not living in a van. And then I started showing her YouTube videos and she totally got into it too. So yeah, um, yeah but we were living in a rental, been paying rent forever and decided to make a move towards minimalism. We're already kind of environmentally motivated. We're, we've been vegan for 13 years this month and we're trying to like minimize our footprint on the planet. And, and uh, we really got into the whole van life thing just for like the freedom to not have the same overhead, the freedom to go where we want to go. Yeah. And, you know, we had been renting for 12 years and just spending money on that with no end in sight. And it was just so cool to build a little tiny house and like customize it exactly like we want it and like invest in our future rather than paying rent to somebody else. And, uh, you know, yeah. living with uh, living with the minimalist lifestyle has been like really just free, you know? It feels so good. So, yeah, yeah I could talk for like an hour, but yeah, I'll let you I'm talk. Sure. Well, this is like really our first home. Like, you know how people invest in a house and they put money into it, they pour money into Talk it, time it. and everything. Um, well, this is what we did with Luna. We basically invested in it like we are first home buyers, uh, but we did it on wheels instead of a fixed house. And we had to really, it was a financial necessity for us because we just could not afford to live in the Bay Area anymore as personal trainers. So we had to change our careers, we're working for the National Park Service now. We're off season right now, so we're gonna be traveling across the country. Uh, we're gonna be doing, um, obviously, uh, well, going to different national parks, but we also wanna get into more animal activism, which was something that was very important to us. I got sidetracked with the build, but, um, and also Forrest is gonna be able to consult anybody who needs help on uh, tricking out a van like this. We're gonna give you the good, bad, and the ugly. Yes. About how we build this van and all the mistakes and everything we've learned and all of the joys. So yeah. thank you so much Ian, yeah, for absolutely. having us here. Forrest is the expert. You see you guys know on tricking out. I wouldn't out. go that far. <laughs> I would say at this point he's the expert on all of the suspension stuff and off-roadifying Ram Pro Masters. Unlike anything that I've ever seen on a Ram Pro Master, this thing looks cooler than most sprinters out there. So. Um, yeah, it looks cooler than every sprinter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, true, that's true. That's true. All right, all right. We gotta get I the pro master some love. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to show us around the inside? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start here. This beautiful red cedar the forest worked on. First, I wanted it white, like the rest of the uh, of the cabinets. But he's like, I'm telling you, it's gonna look awesome against the blue and the black. I'm like, fine. And he was right, and I don't say that often, but he was right, I admit it. I picked the blue, so I was right there. But anyway, so here we have this, and then we have a little um, outdoor shower for our puppy dogs to wash their feet. We have the hose here um, in the driver's side and the passenger side down here. We it's hook like it up. Quick connect, right? Quick connect. So you can just pop that on there. That's and a really do, cool feature. We actually have hot water on there too, because so these cool. doggies are our life. Yeah. We're like poo poo for Cocoa Puffs for our puppies. So, <laughs> so the, here we go. The, the hose that goes with it just plugs yeah, that's in. Pretty awesome. That plugs yeah. in there. Okay, and I want to talk about this little step right here. So <laughs> we first necessary. had the running board, that's what you call it, right? Mm -hmm. The yeah. running board, and it just wasn't very steady. Now with the lift on the ProMaster, I, I mean, look, I, I, wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't need a running start to like get up on here. So, yeah. you know, here's that little step, and I love it. Um, 
it takes a little getting used to like finding it, you know, but yeah. you find it, you come down. I freaking love it. Okay. Totally. Bamboo floors. Gorgeous bamboo <laughs> floors. Seriously. Forrest put these in. I helped a little, right? Yes. I helped, but he did the bamboo floors. I was about floors. to give up and she came out and put the dumbbells on top of it because I couldn't get the boards to go down on the ground. And she's like, here, just put these on here and it solved it. I'm the brains. I was like flipping out, losing it. He's the it. beauty. <laughs> brains beauty. Okay. Yeah. So we walk in and I'm going to start with this beautiful dining area right here. Of course, red cedar on the ceiling. Oh, here, let me turn on the light. Red, beautiful red cedar on the ceilings. And here, I'm going to start with the cab. Here is our dining area. So this is the thing with our layout. Forrest and I are in our 40s. And we wanted a layout that felt like a house. You know, so we wanted a dining area, a lounge area, and a bedroom area with some separation. And also, if I ever get mad at him, I could hide behind the, the little wall in the bathroom and be like, Rawr, you know, and he wouldn't even know. So, you know, this is why we like the separation here. Um, so this is our little dining area. We have a lagoon, little swivel table here. This, I want to upgrade. I do not like this. This was supposed to be our, our original fronts to our cabinets mm. because originally I wanted to paint everything white because every van I've seen is white. And I'm like, white makes sense. It's a small yeah. space. I want it bright and big. And Forrest is like, we need wood. We need the wood color. <laughs> You know, because he's macho. That is the endless uh, argument in van life. I White know. versus wood. We were at like our hardware store and the poor guy, he's like, keep it, Forrest is like, keep it wood. I'm like, I want it white. And the guy in the middle is like, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, <laughs> happy you wife, decide. happy life. There you you go. know, but then he changed my mind and I'm so glad he did. Yeah. So we're going to upgrade this yeah. one day because I totally. don't it's like it that though. much. It's cute, but it's, you it's know. Nice. You know. Okay, so the bench. This is so nice to have a little nook. Look a at cozy me nook. sleeping. This is where you can tell Forrest to sleep on the couch? Well, you know, one time <laughs> he was actually on a Zoom meeting right here. And I was over there um, watching Netflix. With our little, so this is where that separation yeah. of space comes in handy with a couple. Yeah. You know, even though we're together 20 years, this is like really important. Yep. So this bench was definitely a must for a couple reasons. Not only is it comfy, but um, we have installed seat belts over here for our so cool. puppy dogs. <laughs> we have two <laughs> because we have seatbelt harness. No way. Yes. So um, the dog doesn't fly through the windshield. Well, that makes sense, right? They're like <laughs> yeah. children. Like, think about it. Yeah. And, you know, we're vegan, so we don't, you know, we don't see any species any different. They're just non-human. And they're our child. <laughs> you don't want so, your dogs flying out of the garden? I know. And I've seen vans where <laughs> so the cool. dog's up there. And I'm like, ah, you it's know. Gone, yeah. So we install these. These are installed to the frame of the van. So nice. they're super sturdy. And, you know, they're lap. So you could, you That's know, awesome. if you're small, yeah, you know, you could have humans, yeah. you know. Human animals Humanoids. can sit here too. <laughs> That's you know? awesome. So we have that. Having some other seatbelts is definitely a must. It's I, a must. I'm and then, so now. also, yeah, I'll take my sunglasses off so I can see. Um, what's in here? He has no idea. He asked me, I'm like, <laughs> you're going to be surprised. Try not to gasp. Ready? <laughs> Look at these little notches. Those are really cool. I think cool. What are those? those, those these are, awesome are um, for garbage cans, for raccoons, to prevent raccoons oh, from nice. going into your cans. So they're rubber. Those are really so cool. So Forrest actually found these and they're really, really awesome. Very useful. So ready? Everything needs to be latched down in a van. Cut band. off. <laughs> nice. Look at, look at. And of course, our stickers. Uh, I love the medic. I know. Because that's such a huge problem Isn't for so huge? many people in vans is how to keep your fridge in. And so, so many people go with magnets or little like plastic clips and nothing works. But those, those work. These work so well. That's and awesome. they give a little bit too. So it's really, yeah. really good. So this was custom made. This whole bench was custom made nice. around the fridge. And uh, it's the freezer. Dometic. I don't know what size it's it like is. It's like a CRX 1000. Oh, I'm just kidding. I know, right? It's huge. Um, I have no idea. I know that it uses very, very 12 volts. I think volts. it's a CRX series. One it's of a those, Dometic but something, but um, freezer. Nice. Our nice Room vegan food. <laughs> vegan, vegan pizzas. pizzas. <laughs> yes. There you go. Well, my hair is everywhere. Edit that out. Okay. No worries. Here's our 
beautiful refrigerator. Nice. Lots of veggies, fresh veggies. Eat awesome. your veggies. <laughs> My go. nickname is Mama Bear, so <laughs> there, you go. there you go. That's beautiful. So here we beautiful. go. We did install these CR Lawrence um, awning windows, so they do Slam open. The for you know rainy days i really love it we really we want so a window nice it is amazing <laughs> isn't i mean come on yeah reading a book right there right? is perfect. and i mean this is a little low but it works even forest fits in yeah. here because he's a sloucher yeah, relax yeah <laughs> so um yeah i love these windows so we were thinking you know we have two dogs too many windows we can't regulate the temperature you know yeah. this is our forever we're, this is our home we're here full time so we added this one and a little uh sierra lawrence awning window in nice. the bedroom little bunk window over little there little bunk window That's spent awesome. a lot of money on the spray foam mm -hmm. and it was uh gr spray it green I think something like that you guys did full spray foam around the whole thing right spray Not foam just gaps and cracks no the whole yeah. thing it was, was a awesome. mess yeah. a mess he'll talk to you you already heard yeah. the story of how he fixed yeah all of the uh, excess spray foam yeah but it was a complete mess and we did use mineral wool for the little crooks and cranny kind of shove it in yeah nice. as opposed to regular wood because first of all obviously we're vegan but also um it's a great product you know yeah. it's it's made out of like volcanic rock ash, or ash. Wood, whatever it is. yeah it's yeah. pretty kind of cool that you know cool. it's a good option so it's for a stuffing because i feel like everyone's choosing between fiberglass and wool pretty much right. you're stuffing into places fiberglass is out pretty much unless you want to be breathing in fiberglass and I know wool obviously has its own issues but right. mineral wool makes a lot of sense it makes a lot, a lot of, of sense yeah so they're in That's a little awesome. little nooks and cranny uh this is our pantry very cool so we replace everything with tin we gotta go shopping because it's not enough but we have our yeah. nutritional yeast every vegan knows about that yeah now you wrote yep. there okay so this so these are ikea cabinets yeah and the thing with ikea that's great um that you know yeah. is that Those these you don't awesome. need i mean yes they put they hold up you don't need any latches these you adjust them so that way they don't yeah. fly open they're amazing even if you're not going ikea those latches are 10 times better than any other vertical cabinet latches isn't out it? there yeah isn't it you can even just buy the latches themselves and because they hold themselves up you don't need the piston you don't need a lock it's and i just, bought the pistons yeah but those things handle and then it. i mean I had yeah. to sell them. I had yeah. bought them. Those are awesome. Forrest made this thing right here. This little, little so we have our bread and cereal in here. Nice. A little nook, and he connected it to the wall with VHB tape. Yeah. The that same tape awesome. that we use for the for the solar. For the solar. So the mirror too. The mirror was like I bought the the mirror, and he built the frame around it, and we just taped it on there. Nice. Which is great. That's so awesome. that's the little nook here. Um, Let's go into the kitchen area. Come on, the kitchen area, <laughs> all the way over here. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so IKEA uh, countertop here. Uh, this was one of their newer countertops. And when I saw it, I was like done because I've seen a lot of butcher block and they all look kind of similar, but this one has like kind of like a unique grain to it. So I really, nice really enjoyed it. It's like butcher block. It's like I know. narrow grain. I know, isn't that so cool? Nice. It's very different. Um, so I was going for a modern southwestern look and Forrest did help me, I'll have to admit, again, <laughs> he was right, uh, with these uh, stick-on tiles. These are Moroccan, so the black and white um, prints and all the black and white from the cabinets and the little mm -hmm. handles, uh, so I love that. Um, what is this? What is this? Talk about this. <laughs> this is the biggest coffee. We love coffee. No, I'm kidding. This is not coffee. <laughs> this is water. Imagine <laughs> two <laughs> like, gallons of coffee a day. Oh, right? Some that would not be good. Not with Forrest's OCD. He yeah. would be like, Brrr. yeah. This van would be like ten feet up in the off the ground. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> if this was twice coffee. the size tires. <laughs> I know. So this is actually water, um, a water purifier. This is a Berkey travel size water purifier. And what we do when we fill in the tanks, we do filter the water going in to our faucet and our shower and then we pour this conveniently put here oh, right easy. there so easy no way isn't that awesome this is great for this everyone out there so and it's not in plastic it's in it's, stainless yeah right? so it's, totally stainless. talk about the, uh, uh, the, the, the obsession that went into putting those in the obsession of these <laughs> like trying to how? figure out we basically had to like vhb tape this silicone this and drill it to the wall <laughs> 
to create and these if you're a pro master owner you know these things yeah. are everywhere yeah so we use those latches. to latch these and this thing hasn't moved typical i don't, I don't want to say yet no, typical the, van jerry yeah. rigging everything yeah, yeah everything it all the way like. totally <laughs> and we, he lifted it a little bit with a piece of wood so that way we could fit water bottles right here i don't yeah. want to open it because the water's precious it's like gold you I mean, know, when you live in the van right <laughs> Horace lifted it because he likes to lift everything i know he's like, <laughs> let's be honest okay <laughs> he loves actually, i didn't want to lift that she made me you guys are gonna see uh, on the outside in a little bit too the suspension the lift it is there all right let's jump back in <laughs> okay jump back in your standard faucet you see in every van life yeah yes our beautiful deep sink I, this is huge what is huge. it huge like, what is it 20 inches wide or something it's, it's not awesome. even i think it's 17. this way but that that's this huge. way that's yeah a big sink. i don't even know the dimensions nice composite. i could put it in the i'll send it to you on a link if Beautiful. anybody wants to know about the sink so i love the sink nice. i love this little sponge holder this is the doggies non-spill oh that's uh, a really clever idea if you have dogs so it yeah this is where you put it on the bed anywhere this is spill. Easy. so that's this area Okay, where do we cook? Well, we don't eat. We're breathnarians. So I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, no, we eat. Um, so we have an induction stove that um, we put in here. We keep in here. And people are like, oh, what a pain in the ass. You don't have it on there. No. But, you know, we don't use this that often. We, we are whole foods plant based. So we do a lot of salads and stuff like that. So we do the induction stove for like breakfast, for oatmeal. We have an uh, Instapod that everybody should have an Instapod. And we have an air fryer. Right? Air fryer lid. Oh my God, the air fryer lid. The potato. Well, they make a yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. So I highly recommend that. Um, and we and you know we have a plug right here. We do the our, our smoothies in the morning and everything. So that's how we cook. We take it out, but we needed the space because we use these different appliances. Multi purpose space. Yeah, we needed the space. It's key. Awesome. Okay, up here. Have to look at these spices. Gorgeous. They screw on, right? They screw on and screw off like a Karate Kid. That should yeah. be one of the screw new moves. On. Screw off. <laughs> screw on, screw off. <laughs> <laughs> right? So these are all nice. my spices. And Very then nice. here we have this little shelf. And I know they'll fly out, but we're going to put the little thingy. But this is Hollywood, so we put it up there for show, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, cool. So that's the kitchen area. We Sweet. have great cabinet space. And do you here. have a water tank under here? What, no, what, the what water else is in here? That's it as far as water. Okay, cool. All the water tank is over the wheel well. Nice. You guys have those two, two. dual, I think they're the Northwestern conversions. Yes. 20 gallons. 20 each and size of 40 all together. A lot of yeah. water. 40. That's my New York accent. Came 40. out a little. <laughs> Came out a little. It's nice to have the water balanced across the van like it that does. too, for sure. Well, we Makes were sense. thinking about that. We thought a lot about the weight on each side because this is a very heavy van. Yeah. And we like, okay, on this side, we have the electrical. Yeah. We have the shower. We have the fridge. Mm -hmm. These are heavy. You know, but the yeah. countertop is heavy. So we would try to even it out with the countertop and the water there and cabinets these cabinets. Yeah, so we were... Yeah mindful Feels you know even. all those hundreds of youtube videos peed off you mm -hmm. know for sure so we have to open these to open the us this one nice. toiletries right here awesome. oh this God. little basket here is our uh, medicine cabinet yeah. and then we have our cleaning supplies there look forever for the perfect little garbage can we found it and then our little dog food v dog great local awesome nice. Okay, so that's great. Ah. Let's see the shower. What do we got in the shower over here? This is the shower. So FRP walls. Sweet. Easiest um, way to do a shower for everyone watching and, and cleanest. It looks just beautiful. So clean. So just so simple. Don't. <laughs> a lot of people are not going to want to do tile in their van, and it makes a lot more sense for most people. I would say to do this definitely. Absolutely. Okay, something specific to the ProMaster, everybody. That shower pan. Mm-hmm on this location next to the bench exactly so we had to look for a corner drain mm. because of what's underneath the pro master that big beam that's I've, right i've drilled through that beam you have yeah. but i yeah. know what you mean you gotta you, yes. try, you want to avoid drilling through that beam for sure totally so we bought like four yeah. until we found the perfect <laughs> one so that totally. is great i've gone right through that You're that is great okay and then here a little toilet 
I love talking about this. That's awesome. Isn't that so great? I was so just great? trying to figure out what I'm going to do online for that. That's Seriously, awesome. this is so great. Look, the medic makes it. Okay, it's so medic. great. But you have to remember to close it or else you're going to be very sad. Yeah. Yeah, wet toilet paper in the so fun. You know that you think somebody didn't close it when they're like, oh my god, the toilet paper the in the middle of their shower. Other. Yes, <laughs> totally. Leave the toilet paper up. It happens, it happens yeah. way too many times. Nice. Okay, wait, before we get to the toilet, low flow. Nice. I love, so Forrest wanted water. a black one, but I wanted to save water. You know, because our sink doesn't save water, our faucet mm -hmm. in the sink. So this one's great. It has a stop button, so you don't have to regulate the temperature. And you could just like, you know, turn on the water, shower, uh, wet, then off, soap, hot, That's like awesome. a military, right? Yeah, you gotta have that button. My, my shower, a minute and a half, water on. Nice. Forest, <laughs> two minutes. Typical. He's taller, he has Typical. more <laughs> area to wash, but still. Okay. This area. Oh my god, the airhead, you guys. Okay, this is serious talk now. It's probably the first time I've seen an airhead versus a nature's head or a sea head. Do you a... see the difference? Yeah, totally. It's much smaller. Smaller <laughs> footprint. Yeah. Number one. Number two. Ah, ha, ha. Wait. Number two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Numero dos. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> Numero dos. Um, here is, it has a shape of a toilet. You know, it has yeah, an actual awesome. shape of a toilet. Another thing that this has, very convenient. Um, just from the top, is that it has little drainage to the pee area. Nice. So you don't have to be like, oh my god, I better pee right over the yeah, pee, that's you know. Nice. That's sure. really good. Biggest plus, when you empty the pee in the nature's head, you take it off and you expose to those solids every single time. They're connected. Yeah. With this one, they're totally separate. Nice. So you don't we ever have to see that. Ever until wow. we yeah. empty it. You don't want to see that. Ever. <laughs> ever. You don't want to see that? Or as rarely as possible, at least. Yeah. You don't want to see that. So, and the good thing, okay, so we've been in it for four months. And three weeks is a good, full time, three yeah. weeks we empty the salads. Nice. The, the liquid every day. Yeah. For we sure. drink so much water. <laughs> yeah, you guys got that nice water filter yeah, up there. Yeah. Every day. So yeah. we love it. It's, nice toilet's it's, critical for sure. I highly recommend this one. I know Nature's Head is like the go-to for everybody, but yeah. this is key. Okay. Yeah. Um, we also uh, put uh, the used toilet paper in this airtight yeah. container. There you go. That's which is nice. really good. It keeps the, the um, yeah, it keeps the compost from changing too many times. Yeah, that's awesome. Bedroom area. Are you gonna film yeah. the little step? Yes. That Forrest oh, made. Step down there. Yeah. Look at. How cool. That's Isn't necessary. that so awesome? Very necessary to have a step. Yes, and look, my foot goes here, and I get out there by myself with no help. So Nobody nice. had to carry me up here. So pretty big bed too. So yeah, so we have um, just under a queen here, and just a little bit bigger than the full here. Nice. Yeah, we notched it out. There's a, nice. a spot right here. There you go. So this is Forrest's side of the bed, um, and I'm here, and I fit, and Forrest fits pretty good this way he nice. does um, his left foot is a little bit against the wall but um, but you know he fits he's just on an angle and then I sleep like a corpse like I don't move I'm like this and Charlie's around my head so it's like yeah it's kind of creepy but all right sweet so yeah happy holding a little nook book nook right here we have our lights um, this one is a night light that has a great glow and here are our dimmable. We each have one. They go down. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they go up. I have a little hook here for a hat. My little, so this is DC. Mm -hmm. So I can, I don't have to turn the inverter for so this. So critical to have DC charging. Oh my God. For your phone and your totally. And so I just put my phone right here. Um, nice. Forrest has his. He built this. He's very proud. <laughs> very proud of his uh, little nook. thing, little nook. He'll Sweet. say he hasn't worked with wood for since high school, middle school, and now he got to. Uh, lights up here, pocket Sweet. lights. This one's falling down a little bit, pocket lights. Two Max Air fans. Oh, yeah, we got that one up here, love. one back there. One up here, one up there. Another nice. book nook here, those space here, and every inch is, you know, vital. Oh, yeah. So many nooks. So we have a little nook right there. Nice. My clothes up here, packing cubes. 
all organized in. With my leggies. I meant to say leggings, but <laughs> English is my second language, so leggies. You're from, <laughs> Anything that goes on legs. <laughs> you're from Venezuela? From Venezuela. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so that's it. And then Forrest was like, I'm not doing packing cubes. So he's doing his little, you know, uh, what are these? He's so funny. Anyway, so then we have that. We have the window. And oh, the dimming lights. Oh my god, I always forget these. Oh, yeah, the back so, lighting is awesome. We have them over the bench and over the kitchen. So here we have that. They dim, and we dim it really, really low for movie night where we have a little arm for our iPad. Nice. And then we put right here, and the arm comes out here. And it's like plenty of room for us to like watch a movie right there. So that's really, really good. Oh good, close that door so you can see the woodwork that Forrest oh, yeah. did. We do have a beautiful inside of this door right here. He did Pretty that. Awesome. Along cedar, with the right? back. Cedar. Cedar all red around. Red cedar up and red, and then the other cedar there. And he nice. did the back doors too. You know how hard it is to get those back doors done. Awesome. But that is, I think. Sweet, that's the interior. Yeah, the Very overhead cool. compartment. I saw your last van tour and I love what he did up there with that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. His was awesome. He had that awesome. little pull-out thing. Yeah, because yeah, I just have to keep that clean. So that's it, yeah. you guys. I did it. Awesome. He did the inside. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back outside. We're here with Forrest. He's going to be showing us some of the technical sides of this van, some of the upgrades they've done to the exterior, which is probably what a lot of you guys are here for, and some of the stuff that they've done in the cab here. Forrest, take yeah, it away. So, show us what you got. I, I, for anyone that's been in a ProMaster, this, the floor is like flimsy, and um, especially in the middle. So I can't remember who we bought this from. There's a couple different versions of these online. Um, it goes in between and like just creates a little stability and it yeah. also has these little things that catch the dirt. So, so nice. that's cool. And then we got, uh, if you can zoom in there, we, we upgraded the, uh, yeah. the, the unit to the Pioneer ADH, whatever it's called. It's and awesome. basically it's like Apple play, you have Android auto, Android, CarPlay, yeah, CarPlay on your, so it's nice. The, and, and the backup camera is as wide as that is. That nice. was the main reason because the backup camera on the Pro Masters is too small. Yeah. At least on the 2019, it's probably you know yeah. the same. So totally. Yeah. So then when we awesome. did, so we'll move to the outside. I guess I'll start here so I can kind of. Yeah. My buddy, uh, one of the contractors we worked with, helped me do the Raptor liner. Yeah. And um, though you know this was a very complicated project, I don't have enough time to talk about it. You could you could ask <laughs> me more questions if you want, but you, you can't get wet. To make a long story short. Yeah. We did the whole thing. A little dew got on it and ruined it, so we had to retape and do the whole thing again. So, yeah, uh, you got if you can do it indoors or at least do it earlier in the day, which is what we did when the sun was out the next time. So, but we didn't tape the door jam, so we ended up with black splatter all in here. So then I came back and taped all this off and blacked right. out the door along the line. Would be they really got it all matching here, all in there. That's a little dirty right now, but anyway. This is where you can start to see like how my mind works. There's like yeah. problems in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It creates problems when there aren't problems. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> so you got so, Raptor liner around the entire bottom. Yeah, we got right? Raptor liner on the bottom. I paint up top, right? Yeah, I blacked out all the chrome. That was nice. one of the first things we did after we got the van painted blue. I blacked out the wheel wells. Because yeah. after we got the van painted blue, this was like bright white in there, oh, yeah. which was very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> very disturbing for your OCD. Very like disturbing for my isms. This was a uh, beautiful face, beautiful eyes. Yeah, so we got this idea. There, I saw a couple bands that had done the Raptor liner or, or whatever brand or vinyl wrap. Yeah. So we wanted sure. to black this out just for chip resistance and yeah. And uh, yeah, then I installed this thing. This is like one of those projects. Like the second time you do one, it's probably going to take half as long. But yeah, you have to get under there with two ratchets and turn like <laughs> millimeters at a time for six hours, and your forearms are cramping and, <laughs> and it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. But I got it in. Those beefy lights. And then yeah, I told Alex like we sold our 70 inch TV. I'm like, honey, give me something. <laughs> She's like, we don't need those. I'm like, yeah, we do. So we got the ones that like have daytime running light, low beam and high beam. So those things are super tricked out. We're driving down the 101 the other night, leaving San Francisco in the smoke. I had the high beams on here and I turned these on and it looks like your headlights aren't even on. These things are so ridiculous. Yeah. It's pretty epic. And you have some sweet upgrades in the headlights yeah, too, so ones, right? The, the, the standard ProMaster headlights are just weak. Yeah. I mean, you notice that? Yeah. Like, I, they didn't look like anything's on, so. Absolutely. We, I upgraded the daytime. Well, so I upgraded the high beam and low beam and so there's no leds that come fit for this so yeah. my plumber electrician guy figured out how to get the low beam 
to stay in there, but the yeah. high beam wouldn't stay in there, so we super glued it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're supposed to last, last for 50,000 hours, which I hope they do, because it's going to be yeah. a project when they burn <laughs> out. But It really modernizes. I've seen the white in there. It yeah. really modernizes the whole thing. I mean, the LED nice. light makes the whole thing look so sweet. And then, then we had halogen daytime lights, so I had to replace those too. Yeah. So if you do that project, you have to get pliers, yeah. needle nose pliers that bend. Yeah. That's, that the, was, that's the key. Oh, I, I think I know what you're so talking about. So if you don't, you're going to break one. I broke one. It was a major headache. Everything, all these <laughs> little things were like about? major headaches. So. Yeah. It looks um, sweet, man. You guys got it all blacked out. And yeah. This, this is the yeah, so this was this was all chrome. Suit. This was all this was like I blacked that out. That was one of the first things we did. Yeah. And then we had to get black and gold plates because it just because it matches, matches so too clean. Good, yeah. yeah. So absolutely. And uh, sweet. Anything yeah. So I got I the think, wide mirrors. Those are sweet. Yeah. I guess these come on the 2019. We still have ash, even though we washed the van. This is from our from the coming down from San Francisco. The smoke was yeah. so bad up there. That's so crazy. These are cool uh, windows that. If you Google ProMaster windows, you won't. These won't come up. These are universal. Yeah. And uh, we had a bigger one that was going to take up the whole thing, but yeah. we don't. We, we have two dogs. So we wanted to try to keep our van as insulated as possible. Yeah. So this is under like universal window mounts. The awning is super sweet because you can literally crack it like this much, and it creates like this super gust in there. And even while it's raining. And yeah, it's yeah, and you can open them when it's raining. So we have two Max Air fans on the roof. Yeah. What I found is like you crack these. We have another window on the other side. And then hit the fans, and like the yeah. wind, the wind flow is pretty amazing. So, so, so. Uh, we got a uh, 300 watt Silfab made in the USA solar panel on the roof, 200 amp hours lithium ion battery from Battleborn, yeah. Victron components on the solar, yeah, and uh, 2000 watt inverter, 2000 right? watt Victron inverter. You got shore power, I believe. Shore right? power, yeah. We could talk about plumbing. Yeah. You got a 25 gallon gray water tank. I guess we'll just walk around. I think one of the most unique things that you guys have too is the uh, the heat, the water heater that connects yeah. to the engine, right? It's an isotherm, I believe. Yeah, right? so uh, that's super I, I unique. I guess I could space. open that up in a minute and show it, or you guys can. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about yeah. it. So um, I've got a, I guess, uh, so that I've got a 25 gallon gray water tank underneath here. Yeah. Um, we just spin that and pop it open. We use only biodegradable soap, so we drain responsibly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, we got two, an yeah, we got two 40 gallon <laughs> Water t uh, two 20 gallon water tanks over the wheel well. Yep. It has a baffling line between them so that it, the, the balance is out. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, That's we got the isotherm, isotherm water heater. So coolant from the engine cycles back and warms the water up when we drive. So, so electricity. Yeah, so currently our water heater is not even plugged into our electrical panel. Yep. Which so. is why we can get away with a smaller system. So, yep. shore power here, shore power, water, water fill there. It's cool. And, uh, Dude, yeah, this is the other awning window. So let's jump into okay, so the tires yeah. and the suspension, which okay, is the most so exciting part. Where do we begin? Game. What kind of tires are these? How honest know? do I want to be here? It's like this is kind of embarrassing that I tell the whole story. I don't, so. I don't think so, man. I think you talk about what's on this van. So amazing. I mean, I guess what I could share is like, you know, what I've learned and the mistakes I've made. You know what I mean? So uh, I originally started out. The the van came with, uh, you know, two twenty fives. Yeah, they're tiny little tires, and I was like, we got to upgrade. <laughs> so, we got the van compass lift, and Three inch, right? and it's a one and a half inch lift, oh, yeah. front and back. Okay. So that lifted the van a little bit. Um, that wasn't good enough. But the tires were rubbing. <laughs> so I talked to Alex into getting. The, the off-highway vans, three and a half inch lift so that the tires wouldn't rub. So sure. if you're gonna upgrade your tires and wheels, this is where it gets complicated. I've spent like, I don't even know how many hours obsessing over this. The bolt pattern on the ProMaster is five by 130. There's very few wheels that match that bolt pattern. Yeah. Ultra Toil is the one that I found. I was on another website, there's a couple different brands uh, but the, for the sake of time, Ultra Toil yeah. was the one I went with because they were available. Yeah. So I bought wheels, the tires that, came, that I set them up with, the wheels were too narrow for the tire. The tire was supposed to be on a wider, wider wheel. So then, oh my God, we got a new set of wheels. And I'm like, well, if we're getting new wheels, we got to get bigger tires. <laughs> yeah, 100%. All right, guys. So I did a lot of upgrades on this van. And my, my main motivation was that I want to be able to go off trail not off trail but off road forest service land bureau land management camping like yeah. off grid so 
Uh, I wanted to upgrade the suspension and we also built a very sturdy van. So what happened was it's super heavy. I probably wouldn't have done all these upgrades had I not had such heavy van, but you know, let's just, I'll just kind of show you what we ended up doing. So yeah. the, uh, we, we upgraded, uh, we got upgraded to Fox shocks and uh, the lift we did rotated the axle up. So this is about the same height as a uh, Mercedes-Benz 4x4. Yeah, this is a nine and a half inch clearance, right? Yeah, nine and a half right around there. Which and we got two, uh, sumo shocks, bumpers, uh, put a sway bar in, put some extra steel helpers in. The van was just super heavy and at yeah. high speed, it was wobbling a little bit. So all of this stuff, plus we put in new front struts and front strut stabilizers on the front. <laughs> so pretty much anything you could possibly do, we did. And you got the sway bar. You guys oh, Yeah, we got crazy. a sway bar installed, which makes handling a lot better. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's just a major, major project, but awesome. the van drives great now. We, we've gotten off road on it. And I, I personally don't want a four wheel drive. I don't think it's necessary because like, you know, we have our house in here. We got our yeah. toilet, all this, you know, and anywhere we need to go in this thing, I can get there. And, you know, if we were, you know, trying to go through crazy mud or something like that, I just don't want to get my house stuck in that anyway. So, yeah. you know, with front wheel drive and some decent handling skills, I read a bunch of articles that are saying, yeah. you know, the four wheel drive is so expensive. It reduces yeah. your gas mileage. And we were camping, I'll tell this story, we were camping up in Mount Shasta. And there was a section I wanted to go, but since we didn't have four wheel drive, I'm like, I don't think I want to go there. I met a guy in a four wheel drive sprinter. He didn't want to do it either. Yeah. Because you your house is in there. You might have gotten through it, but he was going to jostle and flip something or break, break you know what totally. I mean? So yeah, it just wasn't really worth it. Like, if, if you're doing four wheel drive in like an, a, a weekend adventure rig, that's one thing, but like, our house is in here. You know, we don't need to go roughing it. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, let's show the back really quick. We yeah. have a pretty sweet spare tire holder up yeah, here. Yeah, so the spare, spare tire obviously was way bigger than the stock, so it couldn't fit underneath. So I, I sold the spare tire underneath there. We got, a, this is made by a company in Anaheim in Orange County, it's called Rigged, and it's a spare tire carrier. Nice. And uh, yeah, I've got the spare tire on here, spare gas can, max tracks. Those are sweet. These are bolted on so no one will steal them. Got this ladder I also hope like no one uh, would ever steal them. And the other goal is like, you don't want to have to use these. These are like emergency, yeah. you know <laughs> what I mean? Worst case scenario, yeah. sure. Absolutely. Uh, Give you guys a little peek into the back of the van Oops, real quick here. Thank you. <laughs> There's a testimonial right there. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh we're on we're, once again we're on a road trip, so this is well, everyday life. <laughs> this is like our six, six six months worth of stuff in the back here. Yeah. Yeah, we got our weights and dumbbells. So we got two 20 gallon water tanks here. And uh I built this box for our two lithium ion batteries. We got our Victron inverter. Nice. And uh ton of Kind of space in there you can't really see it because it just kind of looks cluttered but we got all our camping gear extra yeah. food tools all the, the length of the size. bed plus the height of the bed so there's a ton of storage space back yeah. there yeah and i did the wood awesome. here man this was like really i'm like so proud of this stuff it's like yeah, it looks great we put this on first and i'm like oh we should do the red to contrast so i pop that off and some of it's glued on but the stuff you need to get to because like you have cables and lights and stuff yeah i can unscrew those and get to them so that's super critical yeah i covered my screw heads on my first build right here and I yeah get in there. oh yeah terrible choice yeah it's just a warm cozy little cabin we just love this thing man we're just so proud anytime someone's like hey nice man we're like come check it out you know <laughs> you'll get over it all right guys thanks so much for watching our van tour if you guys want to stay in touch with you if any of these guys want to follow your journey uh, into the future how are they going to stay in touch well, I just started an Instagram for just Luna. So it's going to be Luna underscore the van 2019. Awesome. There's only two pictures. I'm going to post a bunch of pictures. Come follow us. Sweet. And we'll link that in the description as well. Um, yeah. And also, I believe if you guys have any questions about the off-road side of this van or any of the stuff done to the outside. There's so right? much more we didn't even get into. The wheel wells, the size yeah. of the tires. It's like, you know, it's a, there's, there's more to talk about. So. Forest this is a plethora of information. So if you're interested in that, feel free to follow them. Also stay tuned for our van conversion course. And thanks again for watching.